What were you expecting from the um, Asterisk triple star? A very difficult game. I think at this stage in any European competition, you've got to come up against teams that are of a, a decent calibre. We've watched a bit of, bit of footage of them, and they look they look quite competent. So we're just looking forward to the to the match, to be honest. Is it advantageous to play the first game at home because you can almost take the game to them, especially when you you maybe don't know as much about them as, as you would like? I think the key is to, to, to come away with a victory and a clean sheet at home. I think you need to maximise, as you say, home advantage. We know over there will be a hostile environment uh, which we look forward to but I think at Easter Road against against a team of that calibre you're looking for a clean sheet and, and, and to take a lead over them. What happened at the back in the fields? <sighs> you tell me. I think it was, uh, I mean the boys will tell you maybe a bit complacency, maybe subconsciously going into the game leading 6-1 knowing what we're up against and maybe took our foot off, off, off the gas a wee bit. Uh, I think the start Never helps when you can see two goals in four or five minutes. We were sitting scratching our head on the bench, but thankfully the boys recovered and they showed real sort of grit and determination to get through it. I mean, to score 12 goals and two two legs is, is, is great, but obviously conceding the amount of goals that we've we done against part-time opposition is disappointing, but I'm sure, uh, I'm sure on Thursday will be a lot different. When you go into a European campaign, down it what ambitions do you have? Obviously, you look towards the group stages, but there's huge hurdles before you get there, isn't there? Yeah, I mean, the, the gaffer's been very open and says that this this is the fruits of our labour. We put in 38 games last year, finished fourth, having come up for the championship for, and in, in itself, a great achievement. So, I mean, this is this is this is a reward. So we want to progress as far as we can. Obviously, the group stages would be. Would be unbelievable to be honest, and, and to be fair, that's as the gaffer always always sets high expectations. That's that's what we're gunning for. But we know between now and then, it's some really tough tough games. I think the team that we're playing against is is probably of a a similar calibre to ourselves, maybe at the same stage in their preparations as well. I don't believe they've started their, their league campaign either, so it should be a pretty nip and tuck game. But I mean, I believe that that we're good enough to beat them. Are, are these games probably better preparation because it is? As you say, you know, decent opposition, good preparation for the league campaign, which begins a week on Sunday. Aye, I mean, we've, we've not put too much thought into that, believe it or not. I think we're, we're, we're mainly concerned with, with opposition that, that's coming up, and that's obviously uh, this Greek team. But I think when the league starts, that'll take care of itself. I think last year, just just on the league itself, I think we've done, we've done tremendously well. Uh, unfortunate not to get second. But we understand that this season will be a lot harder. Everybody's signing, signing lots of players, quality players as well. So that in itself will be difficult. But I think one one game at a time. Asterisk Triplets have reached the group stage before, so they've obviously got European pedigree. I mean, do you see Hibs as, as underdogs going into this time? If you're talking on a European stage, then the, the probably neutral fan would probably say, yeah. I mean, the gaffer had says they put, they put a lot into European games. I think their league form. Is, is middle of the road to be honest but I think that you look at their European uh, past games that they've done well to get in the group stages so that has to be our ambition uh, the gaffer had mentioned there's been a couple of teams for Ireland as well that have gone to the group stages so it's not impossible but we understand it's got to be difficult we know playing teams in Europe can be can be very hard uh, they're unknown quantities as well so it's, it's a good test and, I, and I, I believe we're good enough to beat them uh, but it's going to be very difficult You've came up against European sides we've caught in the past, uh, playing Bromby um, in, in recent seasons. Do you think you can take something from that experience into into this time? I think it's, it's obviously different times and different games, but I think if you look at the grand scale of things, to go to a team like Bromby, a well-established European team, and actually win, albeit losing on penalties, uh, gives us great confidence. I think there's still a lot of guys that played in that game that are still here, so that will give us a, a, a tad bit of confidence. But again, it's, it's what we do on, on the day and we know, we, I mean, we've identified their players, their danger players, and they look like they're, they're a decent outfit, they like to play football, so it should be a good matchup for us. That experience of obviously losing the first leg, but say, as you say, putting such a good result in the second leg, does that make uh, this first leg at home even more vital? I think it's vital regardless. I think we need to get off to a winning start. We don't like to go over there on the back end of defeat and try and, and, try and seal a victory uh, for their backyard. So I think the key is to win the game uh, and keeping a clean sheet has been a problem the last the last few games, so we'd like to rectify that as well. John McGinn's a guy you know well. Do you think he's been affected much by the almost daily 
chat about him in the media at the moment? It's, di- it's difficult for him. I mean, I, I, I try to put myself in a, his situation, uh, and it, it must be extremely difficult. The age he's at, as you say, the constant media attention daily must be difficult, but I mean, he's, he's training well. Uh, you could argue his head has, has been a wee bit skewed the past few weeks, but I mean, every sort of natural 23, 24-year-old would, would have, have problems concentrating 100% of the time, but um, for the sake of him and the club, it'll be, it'll be interesting to see, obviously, what develops, but at present, he's a Hibs player, and I think uh, he's, he's still a vital component in our team. Everything runs through him, he drives the team forward, and and listen, if he does go to Celtic, then then it'll be a massive a massive loss for Hibs, but one that we've had three to four great years uh, service from him. So, do you think the fact that it's become a bit of a saga and it's been dragging on now for a few weeks um, has been detrimental to the to the Hibs dressing room? No, I wouldn't say so. I think uh, we're all we're all grown men. We're all well well aware of the circumstances, and that's part and parcel of fo- football speculation. John's old enough to deal with. Uh, it has been a bit of a distraction, but. Uh, we're fully focused on, on playing, so is John. Uh, John's a Hibs player at present until we hear otherwise, so we just need to keep sort of taking it as it is.